Hold it. Hold it. Hey, look up there. Like Miss Lulu could use some help. Hi, boys. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Miss Lulu. This old car giving you trouble? J.D. Hogg's giving me trouble, that's what. He promised to have this car fixed last week and the week before that. Well, let's take a look at it. Yeah, we, we should do that. I'm gonna come down so hard on that man, he's gonna have to reach up to touch grass. Oh, shoot, there's your problem. Fuel filter's all clogged up, but shoot, I tell you what, we can go call Cooter, he can fix it, look at his split. Sure, we'll take you wherever you gotta go. All right, fine, I'll get my stuff. Boys, can I do the driving? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, uh, sure, why? I'm in a hurry. I don't want you boys to get in trouble with the law. Don't you understand? Okay. All right. Come on, we'll give you a hand with throwing stuff right. inside. Yeah. Come on, Luke. Come on, boys. <laughs> well, all right, so well, an arm around there. All right, Hang on. Whoa. Oh, Lord. All right, now, just give her a little shove in there. For a little there. All right, now. You got her. There I go. There, there, there I go. go. <laughs> there you go. Woo -hoo. Maybe we should forget it. Forget it? That fat lady's the key to her husband's bank. That's right. We drop Annalisa back at the trailer, and then you and me pay a little visit to the richest woman in Hazard. Anybody figuring to kidnap Lulu Hogg is figuring on two long shots. The first, it'd be easier to steal a buffalo. Hold on! And second, who says old boss will pay to get her back? You're kind of anxious to get home, huh? I ain't heading for home. I'm heading for the boys' nest. I've got a lot of things I want to say to J.D. And I want to say them while I'm still hot under the girdle. Oh, here we... Lulu and the boys, indeed. Oh, sneaky dukes. Using my sister Lulu to do their dirty work. Well, they'll feel the long arm of the law. Did you? Looks like we got company. Oh, well, he ain't staying long. Ooh, this is We're just fine. Let's we'll wait for you inside. All right, but you just close your ears, you hear me? Because what I've got to say ain't fitting for nice boys like you to hear. I don't feel so good. We ought to run inside and get a beer. And a